I was recently uh, asked to uh, give a description of the um, spring assist that I uh, uh, made up for my trailer. And I'm uh, just going to tell you that uh, it's probably no different than several other people are doing. The only difference that, uh, that I did was a little different material and, um, and a little different way of hooking it up, making it a little bit simpler. Um, if you notice, I didn't weld uh, the 2x2x6 uh, uh, two by two by foot um, tubing to the trailer. What I did is I made those straps and welded them to the 2x2 two two, and then I through bolted them uh, through the uh, top rail. Uh, it was real simple. Uh, the other thing I want you to notice is that um, down here, um, it's a blue, so that means it's a 90-pound spring. This is a 5 16 bolt. All the hardware that I use was all stainless steel. And what it does, um, other than the ones that are exposed springs and, uh, and such, um, the spring is inside of this tube, uh, which gives it a safety factor with the bolt back here. Um, it can't go out that way if it breaks. And with these two rollers in the front here, um, it can't come out either. Um, so what it does is it maintains a spring um, in that area. Now I know that I've seen them at safety wires and, and so on and so forth. Same thing. I just, like I say, just a little bit different way I designed it. Um, these are the cables that are normally used um, on garage doors with the furl on them. Uh, what I did is I made this um, connection point here. This is nothing more than a piece of 2 inch by 3 16 steel uh, with a piece of uh, 1 inch round or 1 half inch round stock and it's 2 inches uh, in length. I drilled a hole through, I plug welded it, then I also I just put a couple support welds on the outside and then I put a 1 8 inch hole through it through the center uh, along with a uh, a uh, half inch washer and uh, a cotter pin and uh, it's all stainless steel hardware again and then I tapped it uh, through here uh, so this is tapped instead of putting a through bolt all the way through it I just tapped it it was real simple I just tapped it in two spots you can see the other bolt there lock washer that's it um, and then use these nice cab cables that are, are furled these are um, uh, garage door um, uh, door uh, cables and they come there 17 feet and I lopped off a piece um, and I use the uh, loop the uh, tension relief loop that goes around the end of the spring um, and I just used uh, one 3 16 this is a 3 16 inch cable by the way and a, a 3 16 um, uh, u-bolt uh, that they have a cable bolt is uh, probably the best way to describe it um, You can see that what I did is I duplicated it on this site, of course, and um, These are um, two and a half inch quarter inch bolts, and then what I did is I put these um, uh, They're uh, um, um, Designed for um, Standoffs so I got a, a standoff and they fit perfect in here so this is uh, the absolute perfect distance between here, and I bought them like at an Ace Hardware out of one of those bins. So I bought one large one. Uh, I think one is uh, is uh, one one inch, and I believe this is like a half inch, something like that. But um, that's all I did. And then uh, just to give you an idea how it works, I, I didn't design this for one finger or kicking it up. Uh, I just made it so that it would become a little bit simpler, um, all right? And it just give you an idea. Just, it just, well, I, I guess you could. It just goes down real easy. Okay, very simple. You can see I, I went about a foot up from the top of the door. Um, that gives me about my maximum pulling strength. Um, and then <clears throat> to pick it up, it's nothing more than, it's very simple. Just goes up and it'll stay up in position. This has the locks and a rubber piece inside there, so it, it actually works uh, really well. This is a Big Tex trailer. It's a 45 LA. Um, and that's a pretty heavy door back there. I should say uh, gate. Um, so it works uh, it works pretty good. 
um, I load my tractor and my backhoe on, on the trailer. So there you have it. Very simple. The cost on it, um, I had to steal. Uh, but the whole cost on it was probably about $35 with the springs. The springs were $11 each. And with all the stainless steel uh, hardware and that, probably right around $30, $35 is the total. Uh, and then, of course, um, uh, the tubing. If you have to buy it, I imagine that's probably about $30 worth of tubing. So you're probably, from a steel supplier, uh, not getting it at a home improvement store or anything. Uh, probably be around sixty dollars if you have to buy everything real simple welding uh, Drilling the holes. Uh, I cut this angle I first cut the, the complete angle all the way down And then I just took the saw and then cut the front of it off real real simple stuff uh, No brain surgery or anything um, I think that's a 70 degree angle just something like that. It's it wasn't important and you could see that it still has a little bit of pull even up in this position, okay, to, to, for the upright, so it works pretty well. Okay, well that's it. Uh, I hope you guys uh, are able to produce it the same way. It works good, very simple. I'm going to put a little white lithium grease on those rollers, and then she's done. Uh, but it w again, it was simple, cheap, um, a lot less money, like I say, about $35, uh, instead of, um, uh, I've seen them as high as like $225, so just to give you an idea, you can cut the cost, a little work, and um, you can bolt them if you don't have any welding equipment. Uh, the other thing I would suggest is, is to cut up this strapping and just take it to a welding shop. They can't charge you that much. I think the welding, uh, it took me less than about 10 minutes to weld each side, um, so just make sure uh, when you're um, drilling through that you're not drilling through a tire uh, and the other thing is uh, that you're not drilling through a top of a fender or something so make sure you have the correct spacing of those straps uh, before you do it you can probably get away with just uh, doing one in the front and one in the back I chose the middle uh, just to give it a little bit more strength in the back for flexing on the trailer that's about it okay very good if you have any questions feel free to give me a a message or drop me an email. Be glad to uh, answer any questions you have. Thanks.